Our Minnesota Wild have been referred to as the team of 18,000. Uh, sincere reference to its fans. Yes, getting all those screaming fans into the game can really turn the tide, as we saw Monday night in that huge comeback. Bill Hudson is with some of those fans tonight, and he joins us now with the story of Wild coach Don Tor Torchetti's biggest fan. Hi. We got a lot of fans showing up out here, Frank, at this uh, wild pregame party. There's only going to be rain on the Dallas parade tonight. You know, half the fun of being in the chase for a cup is uh, sharing that fun excitement, that experience with family and friends. And that holds true even if you're wild interim head coach John Torchetti, who we learned today calls his mom out in Boston each and every day. Behind every successful player are the pillars of support. Coaches have their fans, too. It's fun. Uh, you know, they bring me a lot of luck, too. Uh, Mom was with me at uh, three of my championships when I played and coached, so uh, sh she's my good luck charm. So it's time to meet that good luck charm, Barbara Torchetti. All I can say is I'm, I am very proud, and it is nerve-wracking to watch the game. Like Monday night when Mom Barbara and John's sister and two nephews were in the hometown crowd and watched a thrilling comeback. Oh, it was great. Everyone up cheering, waving their towels and everything. No, it was great. Glad to see them come back. To most fans, Coach Torchetti seems all business, but there's a softer side to him. Barb says her son calls her every day to talk hockey, but mostly just checking in. You're just nervous for him. You want to make sure they win, you know, so that the guys all feel good afterwards, too, you know. And suddenly, these Boston Bruin fans find themselves sporting wild wear. Just watching them and how they change from being Bruin fans to Minnesota Wild fans pretty quick. Nephew Mike Craven says it feels great. He's the hottest working guy I know. I mean, goes to the rink the earliest, leaves the latest. That's just the type of guy he is. And oh yeah, her favorite wild player? John Torchetti. <laughs> How's that one? <laughs> okay. Of course, of course she has to say that. Her son, the coach, John Torchetti. Let's hope they can drop that interim from his job title, depending on how far the Wild go this year. He's done a great job. They uh, hope to be back in Minnesota. They say the food here is great. Yeah, there's not a lot of seafood, but the food here is great. They want to come back uh, well into June. Maybe they can rack, rack up a lot of frequent flyer miles flying back and forth between Boston. How about that, Frank? I tell it, Tim, we don't, might, have, might not have lobster, <laughs> but we have walleye, Bill. Give them that. No, no lobster. That's yeah. right, yeah. All right, I think good to see you. She's adorable. It, right? <laughs> you bet. Thanks, Bill. Isn't she fun? She was great.